Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to see January challenge 2020 long challenge. Okay, breaking bricks problem. Let's begin with the problem understanding. Second part is logic building and third is implementation. It is a simple problem and we will solve it quickly. Okay, so for our next karate demonstration, Ada will break some bricks. Ada stack three bricks on the top of each other. Initially, their width W1, W2, and W3 from top to bottom. Okay, other strength is S. Whenever she hits a state of bricks, consider the largest k greater than zero such that the sum of the widths of the to topmost k bricks does not exceed S. The topmost k bricks break and are removed from the S stack. Okay, before each hit, Adam may also decide to reverse the current stack of the bricks with no cost. So, what is the meaning of all this? So, the meaning is actually very direct. So, for example, if we have the test cases S3, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, what is the meaning of this? S, W1, W2, and W3. What is S? S is nothing but the strength of Ada. Okay, and W1, W2, W3 are the width of the bricks. Fine. So, 3, 1, double 2. So, let's see. So, it is nothing but 3. 1, 2, 2, 2. Okay. So a brick in the top of each other. Okay. Bricks at the top of each other. So it is nothing but 1, it is 2, and it is 2. When I hit it, okay. So the topmost bricks with the 2 plus 1, that is W1 plus W2, that is the width of the bricks. If it is less than equals to S, if it is less than equals to S, that is 3. Okay. Then these bricks will break. Then these bricks will break, and only the bottom brick will remaining fine and then in the next hit this will break because it is 2 and 2 is less than s that is the strength of order so this is also break so in two hits we will get our answer so therefore in two hits here it is written we will get our answer okay in the case of s equals to 2 and the bricks are 1 1 and 1 in this case 1 1 and 1 in this case when uh, adder hits with the strength 2 okay so the topmost k bricks that is 1 plus 1 2 bricks okay has less than equals to s that is nothing but 2 so it will break and only a single brick will remain again it will hit with a strength 2 with is just 1 so it will break okay so this is what the question was fine we have to just find out that how many hits ada requires to break these three bricks okay how many hits that the ada requires okay the strength of other is given to us okay and the width of the bricks are also given to us Okay, let's now see the constraints, the sample test, just create some test cases and form the logic and implement it. Fine. We have to find out the minimum required number of hits. Fine. So let's see the constraints. T is less than equal to 68. S is 8 less than equal to 8. So the power of ADA can manage from, can range from 1 to 8. Fine. And uh, the width of the bricks can be 1 or 2. Okay, we have three bricks, W1, W2 and W3. And the width can be 1 or fine so now this is very small constraints okay you can actually check for each and every constraint here each and every constraint for example if we have here just w1 w2 and w3 and we have just one and two as the width so what we can have all can have one 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 so we can actually write all this down all the combinations we can write all the combinations okay so just let me write down all the combinations so these are all the combinations of w1 w2 and w3 with the values of 1 and 2 and s can range from 1 to 8 let's now just form the logic fine so if if my s as you can see here the maximum value of w1 plus w2 plus w3 can go up to 6 that is 2 plus 2 plus 2 and go up to 6 that is 2 plus 2 plus 2 Correct. So if I came up with the S value as 6, S value as 7 or S value is 8 as 6, 7 or 8, then in a single, then in a single hit, the all the three bricks will be break. No matter what the combination is, in a single hit, all the bricks will break because 2 plus 2 plus 2 is just 6. So if I hit it with a power of 6, then all the three bricks will break. If I hit it with a power of 7, then all the three bricks will break. And in the power of 8, all the three bricks will break in a single hit. So just a single condition we just found out. So if my W1 plus W2 plus W3 is nothing but less than or equal to S, is less than or equal to the given S, okay? Then simply print 1 as the answer. Print 1, that is in a single hit, we are done. In a single hit, we are done. 
okay this is one of the case now for the rest case just see so if we have 5 if we have 5 so it is nothing but 2 we can have any combination so if it is the first combination that we have 1 1 and 1 if it is the first combination that is 1 1 and 1 so its power is combination sum is 3 so 3 is less than equals to s so this condition will be satisfied now check for 1 1 and 2 1 1 and 2 is nothing but 4 we have still have 5 as a power so this condition will satisfy then check for 1 2 and 1 so it is still 4 it is 1 2 and 2 now it becomes equal to exactly equals to 5 again in a single hit all will break so like this you can check for each and every combination this is just a small problem okay so now only possibility is 2 2 and 2 now in the case of 2 2 and 2 this value will become greater than equal to 5 okay the sum will become greater than equal to 5 so if i hit it with the power of 5 only the first two blocks will be break okay because 2 plus 2 is 4 which is less than equal to 5 okay so the only the first two blocks will break in the second hit this will break so in this case what we find out we found out that if my w1 plus w2 plus w3 is less than is greater than or equal to my s greater than equal to my s now we have to find out one more relation to complete the question that what will happen if it is greater than equal to s if it is not less than equal to s sorry if it is greater than s not equal to if it is greater than s then what will happen if it is greater than s then what will happen only this part is remaining else part is over correct for 5 only this part is remaining we know the answer that is nothing but 2 but how to find it out directly so even in the case of 4 till my sum is 4 it's fine as soon as the sum becomes 5 for example in this case the sum will become 5 in this case the sum will become 5 here also here also it will become greater than 5 so how will we move forward only that part is remaining let's now do that so we already have this case let's now do the next one so for 5 if we have 2 plus 2 plus 2 which is greater than this now a simple logic if you can think is direct that okay just add these values it is 6 so how many times will I have to hit 5 it is nothing but till my difference becomes 0 or less than 0 till then I have to hit 5 6 minus 1 is 5 for 1 minus 5 is minus 4 so that means I need two hits this is one of the logic isn't it it is one of the direct logic so if we have 4 now in this case 4 comes and 2 plus 2 plus 2 comes now 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 6 minus 4 is 2 we need one more hit to make it 0 or less than 0 so therefore we need two hits in 4 so that is a correct answer it is not a wrong answer so if we have 3 now in in the case of 3 uh, let's check for this this is greater than 3 it is something but 1 plus 2 plus 1 so 1 plus 2 plus 1 is nothing but 3 3 plus 1 is 4 4 minus 3 is 1 and 1 minus 3 is less than 0 so we have two hits we have two hits and it is going correct so is this the correct logic keep on checking so if 3 is 2 plus 2 plus 2 and we need actually how many hits 6 minus 3 is 3 3 minus 3 is 3 so he is saying that we just need two hits but you have to check it do we need two hits so if i have three blocks like this of size 2 2 and 2 okay and i hit it with a power of 3 so the first two blocks will they break 2 plus 2 is 4 and 4 is greater than or equal to the power we are hitting with so will the first two blo blocks break so will the first two blocks break no it will not break only the first block will break and we will have two blocks each of power 2 now if i again hit it with a power of 3 will the first two blocks break no it will not break because the combined power is actually 4 it is not 3 so only the first one will break and then one more block will be remaining which will be taken out by the third hit so we actually do not need two hits we need three hits therefore this logic fails here this logic fails in this case when we need more than two hits okay it is actually three hits fine so we but one thing we found out we will never need more than three hits we will never need more than three hits okay in the case of one also in the case of one also it is given in the problem statement itself that just read it out here as you can see here in the constraint it is given that it is guaranteed that adda can break all the bricks so in the case of one we will not have like this the case of this correct because one cannot break a brick of with two the only case in the case of one we will have is one one and one and nothing else okay 
in the case of one we will only have this case fine so that is one more point to take care of fine now we have just find out what is the simple direct logic and it's very very simple guys so if it is we have the power as 2 as value is 2 and we have uh, 1 2 and 1 as our bricks so as you can see here 1 2 and 1 the power of 2 needs three hits to break all of them okay the first hit will break this the second this and the third this okay now how i will find out whether i need two hits or whether i need three hits okay here comes the reversal property in the problem okay it is simply given that we can reverse the stack we can reverse the bricks fine so if we have one to one we can also have one to one again one to one again that is this brick can go up if we have one to two we can also have two we can reverse it we, we can have two to one we can have two to one so in the case of w1 w2 and w3 if we reverse it becomes w3 w2 and w1 okay so two remain same only w1 and w3 changes their positions correct now here is the logic that two remains same if i can break w1 plus w2 in a single hit and w3 and w2 in a single hit then my answer simply becomes two how is that just think about it so if i can break these two bricks at a single hit at a single hit okay then the third brick will definitely be broken in a single hit if i can break two bricks in a single hit then the third brick will be smaller than this definitely because we have just one and two values okay and the same goes for here if i cannot break them in a single hit that means we need three different hits that means we need three different hits so that was the logic so here if i have the value as two can i break one plus two that is w1 plus w2 in a single hit or can i break w3 plus w1 which is nothing but again 1 plus 2 in a single hit can i break any one of those in a single hit no i cannot break any one of those in a single hit not a single one so what we need we need three steps that is first break this second break this and third break this so that was the logic fine if any other doubt you can take this example as well if we have three and we have two two and two so can i break w1 plus w2 that is 2 plus 2 in a single hit no can i break w3 plus w2 in a single hit that is 2 plus 2 no if i cannot break the first two of w1 and w2 and if i reverse it if i cannot break w3 and w2 also in a single hit that means i need three individual hits to break all of them fine so this was the logic okay now as see in this example s equals to 2 this is w1 w2 and w3 so can i break them w1 plus w2 in a single hit can i break these two in a single hit no if i reverse it so it will become 2 2 and 1 so can i break these two in a single hit no since i cannot break anyone any one of those combinations in a single hit that means i need three different hits so it's done guys so what we have to do if the above condition that is that this condition this one is false that is we go to else case now in the else case just calculate what is w1 plus w2 calculate what is w3 plus w2 now for example this is sum 1 this is sum 2 if my sum 1 can be broken that it is less than equals to s or or my sum 2 can be broken if it is less than equals to s then print 2 else if none of them is less than equals to s that means we need three individual hits so answer is 3 so a simple direct logic and a simple implementation there is nothing in this code related to the implementation part simple if else only you have to take care of the cases of such type where we need three hits it can be seen it can be imagined that we need two hits but no in those cases we need three hits i have shown you those cases i have shown you three to four cases for this logic and this is the implementation and that was the question okay so just see the implementation so this is the implementation guys so three inputs if w1 plus w2 plus w3 i have shown you this part it, then answer is one else sum one is w1 w2 sum two is w2 w3 i have shown you this answer is two or the answer is three okay c and java code for this the same question will be available in the github repository and the link is in the description box fine so this was the question of breaking bricks thank you